Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to restrict editing in a Microsoft Word document. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And then without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is select the File tab up in the top left. Go down and select Info. And then on the right side, select the Protect Document button. And where it says Restrict Editing, control the types of changes others can make. Go ahead and select that. And now on the right side, you can add different adjustments here. So if you want to enable formatting restrictions, limit formatting to selection of styles. You select the settings button here. If you want to limit formatting to selection of styles, you can go ahead and customize that if you choose to do so. You can also enable or disable various other options here to allow auto formatting to override formatting restrictions, block theme or scheme switching as well as block quick style set switching. So you can make any of these modifications here. And you can also select the recommended minimum as well, which is Microsoft's recommended styles that they would recommend allowing here. And you would select OK to save that. On the right side underneath editing restrictions, which is the second restriction you can enable here, you can allow only this type of editing in the documents. So if you check mark that, you can click on the drop down and you can select track changes, comments, filling in forms or no changes. So very useful in certain situations in which you would need those options. And you can also set exceptions for certain users who are allowed to freely edit them. So if you have various groups on your computer, you can check mark inside the box here. You can also show different regions that the user can edit in. So if you had various parts of the Word document open, you could see that. And you can also click on more users here and actually add different users that have this exception. And you can also start enforcement whenever you want. So where it says yes, start protection, click on that. You could either do a password protection or user authentication. So one or the other, those are your two options to enforce this. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.